life in towns and villages. The rise of Mahajanapadas due to the discovery of iron resulted in increased agricultural production. People started living a settled life and this led to the expansion of villages around the agricultural land. Eventually, these villages might have developed into towns and cities. People started living a city life. The rise of city and urban life is called urbanization. The first instance of urbanization in India took place during the time of Harappan civilization. The second time was around 6th century BC when once again towns and cities emerged in different parts of India. Some of the main characteristics of the second urbanization of India are as follows. Rise of towns. Our main source of information for this period are the Buddhist texts. Tripitakas and Jataka tales written in Pali and the Sanskrit. From them, we come to know that many thriving and prosperous towns like Kaushambi, Ayodhya, Rajagriha, Patliputra, Varanasi and Shavasti existed in this period. Flourishing Villages So many towns could not have existed without the support and backup from prosperous villages which produced surplus food grains to supply food to the growing number of towns and cities. Surplus production was mainly possible due to the use of iron tools and implements. Access for clearing forests and iron ploughshare brought more land into cultivation and increased agricultural production. Apart from better and stronger implements made of iron, agriculture also flourished due to the system of transplantation and improved methods of irrigation by canals, wells and artificial lakes. It was often the responsibility of the kings to build canals and tanks. In return, the farmers had to pay taxes to the kings. One of the most remarkable features of this period is the ring well which was made of several hundred ceramic rings placed one over another. Most probably, ring wells were used as toilets or drains and garbage dumps. Differences in village society With the introduction of new technologies, there was an increase in agricultural production. But it also created differences in the village society. Stories of that period, especially from Buddhist texts, tell us that in the villages there lived rich landlords, small peasants and agricultural labourers. From the Tamil literature or the Sangam texts, we come to know that in the Tamil region, different categories of people lived in the villages. Large landowners or Vilalar, small farmers or Uzabar, and slaves or landless labourers or Adimai and Kadaisiyar. In northern India, the village headman or Grama Bojaka was generally the largest landowner of the village. He generally employed landless labourers or slaves to cultivate his land. He was a powerful figure in the village and often helped the king in tax collection. He sometimes acted as the judge and had the power to punish the offenders. The Buddhist texts also mention the existence of independent farmers cultivating their own plots of land in northern India. They were called Gahapatis or Grihapatis. Then, 
they were landless laborers or dasa karmakara who did not own any land and survived by working on the land of others each village also had the artisans and craftsmen like potters blacksmiths carpenters and weavers the special and distinctive kind of pottery produced by the potters in this period was the northern black polished ware this pottery was very glossy and shiny and was black in color it has been found in northern india and hence it is called northern black polished ware it is believed to mainly have been used by the rich upper classes rise of towns and cities the new cities that arose in india around the 6th century bc were supported by kings and traders many of these were capitals of mahajanapada such as patliputra ujjaini and shravasti The capital city of the Pandya rulers of Tamil Nadu was Madurai and it was not only politically important but also commercially significant because of being famous for its cotton textiles. Some cities were important because they were thriving port towns like Arikamedu in Pondicherry Kaveri Patanam in Tamil Nadu and Baruch in Gujarat there were towns which became important because they were strategically located on important trade routes like Mathura in Uttar Pradesh Amravati and Nagarjunkonda in Andhra region urban population from the literary sources and inscriptions we come to know that the kings and the ruling class lived in cities the fine bowls and dishes found in cities might have been used by these rich people who lived in these cities many ornaments found from excavations were made of gold silver copper bronze ivory glass shell and terracotta they also indicate that a rich prosperous class of people lived here from the inscriptions and the literary sources we come to know that artisans and craftsmen like weavers carpenters potters goldsmiths blacksmiths and professionals like teachers and officials also lived in these cities another very important section of urban population were the merchants and traders engaged in a wide variety of trading activity guilds or shrenis a very important feature of these towns and cities was that many craftsmen and merchants formed associations called shrenis the shrenis or guilds helped the craftsmen by providing raw materials for them sometimes they gave them training and helped them by selling their products shrenis or guilds of merchants organized the trade the guilds also helped by giving loans to the craftsmen or merchants thus the shrenis or guilds were a great source of support to the craftsmen or merchants who came to the cities trade and commerce from the 6th century bc traders used land and river routes and went from place to place buying and selling their products there were several kinds of traders including peddlers who traveled on foot and merchants who traveled with caravans there were more adventurous traders also 
who sailed to distant lands. Coins Trade prospered in this period due to the introduction of coins. These coins were called punch marked coins because the designs were punched on the coins made of silver or copper. They were in use between 6th and 2nd centuries BC. Apart from this, the barter system also prevailed.